Hi guys, it's Matt. Today I'm going to make an extremely fast flying fighter plane. I love these. They fly so fast. And it's only made out of like a few parts as well. This one's stronger. Alright, here it is. It's got a ton of air intakes. And I went with a bicoupler here. Let's call it the Firebird. Um, yeah, just that. I think I can't even remember. I made lots of these before, but I, earlier I made it with Lackluster Labs, and it got you like this square fuselage, which looks mm, a bit better. I think this one has more fuel though. So, you win some, you lose some. Let's see if this works. It probably will. However, I had confidence in the last airplane I launched, and that thing didn't work. And this is already turning to the side. Oh my. Yeah, this thing is really hard to control. Whoa. Yeah, I'm gonna... Try and... Mm, go try and land this and... Uh-oh. <coughs> Throttle up. Throttle up. Ah, uh, there we go. Going up again. Let's see if I can turn it around. I could land over here somewhere, but... I remember... I remember my last off of a runway landing. It didn't go so well. Although, the area around the launch pad is fairly flat, so I think I could just land anywhere over there. I think what I need is some wings up here. Or larger wings. Look, it's Minmoose. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Ah! Get back here, you wings. Alright. I've widened the wings. Let's see if this works. I also put some wings up here. And it has more air intakes. A lot more. It's also pointed down. I should have made that front landing gear go a lot lower. Oh yes. This is much more controllable now. Much better. I'm gonna go up really high. So we've got, I don't know, just a two, one or two intake air. Then we'll level out. I think I'll fly to the South Pole. I've never done that. I've flown to the North Pole a few times. But never the South Pole. Alright, I'm gonna level it out now. Have to be careful about this. I've had lots of airplanes that uh, turned too quickly and ended up spinning out of control. 
when I was trying to just like turn around. It's not fun. This thing looks so weird. It's like really wide and <laughs> really short and on fire. It flies like perfectly straight too. Like it's actually pointed towards its velocity. Look at that thing. Take some screenshots for the thumbnail. This thing will get going really fast. Look at all of that fire. It's so glorious. Oh, we're speeding down. I mean, slowing down. It's really important to maintain a constant altitude right now. Stay about as high up as you can for the intake air to still be enough to fuel the engines. Oh, right. I was wondering why half of my liquid fuel was gone. And I remember that I only filled up the tank halfway. Engines are losing air. I can hear it. Thrust is dropping. Have to level out. We're still speeding up though. Look at how fast we're going. I don't think the engines will flame out soon, though. I'm pretty sure I can take these to .02 intake air and still be fine. Well, not really fine at .02, but I think they'll still work until we drop just below .02. And we're still speeding up. <laughs> I love this thing. Our intake air is now getting dangerously low. I'm gonna try and keep it as level as I can. The plane will always be going about just a little bit lower than it's actually pointed. Because of gravity. So it's actually kind of hard to maintain a constant altitude. Although now I have to drop, since my engines are losing air. And I'm also losing control with these control surfaces. That's why I put the big reaction wheel on. There we go. We're slowing down again, but it's better than cutting out the engines. I don't know if I'm going to... Uh, I might make it to the South Pole. Yeah. Let's hope it's as flat as the North Pole. Because if it isn't, I might just crash on landing. Although this thing controls much better than the last two airplanes I made, so it should be fine. And we're going up again. I want to pitch down a little bit. It's going so fast that any time the little yellow marker on here goes just a tiny bit above the line, your altitude changes just so much. Because we're going over 2,000 meters per second. I should actually remember my record for this flight, because I think this will be the fastest I've flown an airplane in Kerbal Space Program. Alright, we're approaching 
the South Pole. We're still a ways off from the exact spot, but reaching the exact spot is really hard because the nav ball spins around when you pass it and it's quite disorienting. And this thing keeps on wanting to turn around as I do this. I love how we're coming in for a landing and we're on fire and no one cares. Look at Bill. He's so happy. I didn't put air brakes on this. So... Oh, that looks so cool. Take more screenshots. I, I might take more screenshots. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I don't think it actually took those screenshots, so I'll have to use the one from earlier. But I'm recording this, so it doesn't really matter. It sort of does, actually. The recording quality isn't as good as the screenshot quality, I think. I like how we're slowing down and the engines are getting louder. And there's so much fire everywhere. It's actually, it actually says we're in orbit. No, we're on the surface. I feel like most people would be worried if their airplane were doing that. There we go. We're getting low enough that it stops having fire on it. I should probably level out it. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, don't do that. Oh god. Oh shit. This is bad. This is really bad. If you couldn't tell, this is bad. It's bad. Uh, most of the time, you don't want your airplane to spin out of control and turn around the way it's not going. Most of the time. I wonder what this looks like in chase mode. Chase cam. Really horrible. I get the feeling Bill might not survive this flight. If only I had that, uh, there's one mod that adds parachutes on the Kerbals, on like EVA, EVA parachutes. And Bill would definitely survive if I had installed that mod, but I didn't, for some reason. This, it just cannot get control back. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. I'm in control again. Let's land it before I kill Bill. I just remembered one time I was using the laser system and afterburners and I actually got these engines to get to start overheating like dangerously high overheat and I found out that they actually glow like a pale green when they get really hot I think it's supposed to be white like white hot but it might have been because the afterburners like a big blue flame but it looked it was pretty cool looking and I had I just had like bright green glowing engines I might make something that does that this place is very flat I'm also very timid about this landing as my last two landings have been complete failures but this one looks to be a success Wait, 
I was about to click EVI on Bill, but I don't think he can actually get back into this airplane. <laughs> it's kind of funny how, I don't know, it seems, I feel like most people don't actually have ladders up to their airplanes when they're making them in Kerbal Space Program. Although I don't watch a lot of Kerbal Space Program videos. Mostly just the ones Rob Baz does. Because they're awesome. Watch them. But yeah. That's about all I have for today. I really just wanted to show off that awesome flaming while flying thing. So, that's it. Goodbye.